Hi, my name is Ben Davidson and I was chief designer on the Type S concept and I'm going to walk you through some of the key features on this model. Um, okay, so we'll start up here in the front and I think uh, we can all agree that this is uh, a very uh, dominant performance and aggressive feeling when you see it. And um, we have a couple new Acura Firsts up here. We have a new Chicane DRL and we also have a uh, new frameless design uh, inset open diamond mesh uh, diamond pentagon grill. We have a super three dimensional front fascia and large intakes down below to take in air to the uh, high power engine and brake package. Super long hood, low and wide stance uh, that gives us the performance proportion that Acura is uh, striving for. Um, as we move to the side, you can see the aesthetic uh, cleans up and becomes more pure. Uh, we have uh, 20 or 21 inch uh, uh, performance wheels entire package. Uh, we have forged carbon inserts in the wheels and along the bottom. Um, and, and you can see our Illyrian contrast design language uh, by the sheer contrast of the body side um, and the more voluptuous fenders. You can see the cabin really tapers back, emphasizing the, the wide fenders and the, the wide stance. We have more key features, uh, more key Type S features on offer in the rear. We have our oversized quad exhaust. We have our uh, diffuser, more forged carbon detailing. We have our chicane signature taillights as well. And a sculpted but functional rear spoiler. And we've coated the whole thing in a double apex blue pearl. Uh, uh, nano pigment technology uh, with a color infused clear coat, which is unmistakable. And can you talk about how much of this you expect to see production? Yeah, so uh, the overall feeling of this car is really going to be apparent in the, the production uh, version of the TLX. It, um, this model will heavily influence uh, the next TLX model. So you'll see a lot of the same features. Some of the execution will be slightly different, but um, overall feeling, you're really going to see the essence of this model represented in there. Yeah, we see a very aggressive axle to dash ratio. That's right. Yeah, that's an Acura first um, for sedans. So that's something we're, we're really excited about applying to our models and uh, to get that performance proportion and a lot of movement in the side view. Yeah, I remember like the second generation Acura Legend actually had a pretty strong axle to dash ratio. Was there any influence from that? Uh, yeah, that was something you know we wanted to bring back. Um, I think it really is um, you know we we need to have that to be successful in the segment and really to be competitive with our styling. We want to make this model as emotional as possible, and that was one of the key points of that. Now I know you were primarily on the exterior, but yeah. what about the interior? Do you, do you have any? Some comments about that. I mean, is this going to be kind of an evolution, refinement of what we've already seen in the new RDX? Uh, are you referring to the next TLX? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the next TLX will will continue with the RDXs and the precision concepts uh, design language and direction and, and, and take it further. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the interface. I don't know if you can speak to that, but some people have asked: Is there ever going to be a point where, in addition to the true touchpad interface, you'll have uh, maybe some touchscreen? I'm not super versed on that, okay. so yeah, maybe maybe a uh, interior gotcha. guy would be better for that question. When are you expecting to see this design in showrooms? Uh, so we have a couple new Type S um, models coming out in the next couple of years. So yeah, just uh, be patient, and I, I assure you, you won't be disappointed. Very nice, thank you, Ben. Okay, thank you. Appreciate your time. Thanks for taking your time. Yeah.